Hi, I'm Nick Bailey, President and CEO of Century 21 Real Estate. In the last market update, we focused on how to stay strong for the remainder of 2018, but more importantly, start planning now for your goals for 2019. So for this month, we wanted to pause for a moment and kind of give you a look at some of the top issues that we see that will be relevant for 2019 as you think about your goals. One that's hot that we're hearing about right now is interest rates. What's gonna happen and how is that going to affect our business? Well, let's really look at it. Last year, of all home buyers, 46% of them were first-time home buyers, and 78% were 37 years old or younger. You could argue that those buyers, they really don't care about interest rates, they care more about affordability. And we're just coming off of, and likely will continue to see this month, 78 consecutive months of price increases. Year over year, we reported on the last market update, it was 4.5%. This continues to drive the overall housing industry, but we know this, it's not just one variable. If interest rates go up an eighth or of a quarter percent, there are other variables that come together to make affordability real for everyone. We've been in a strong seller's market, and there's no doubt that we're starting to push more into an equilibrium. Now, the second part is the economy as a whole. We've had strong GDP growth for the past couple of years, and I believe that the economy will continue to be very strong, but we're also coming into another major political uh, campaign year, if you will, and we always know that there are certain components of the economy that get more conservative when politics are at play. There's one thing, though, that I always like to talk about and highlight, which is generations in our business. You've got the aging boomers, you've got 50% less than the boomers is Generation X, you've got the millennials, and you've got Gen Z coming into play. Millennials are the number one driver. They're ages 24 to 38 that are purchasing homes, but we have to look at it this way. Regardless of interest rates, regardless of the economy, regardless of affordability in some sense, we have two times the amount of individuals in Generation Z and the millennial population that are in their prime years or coming into their prime years of household formation. Inventory remains very low, but demand remains very high. So because of generations, they will put extreme pressure on affordability and drive the overall market as a whole in the coming years. So now let's take a look at where the national housing market stands and let's turn to the current existing home sales report from the National Association of Realtors. Existing home sales declined in September after a month of stagnation in August, according to the National Association of Realtors. Total existing home sales fell 3.4% from August to a seasonally adjusted rate of 5.15 million in September, the lowest existing home sales level since November 2015. Sales are now down 4.1% from a year ago when 5.37 million were recorded in September 2017. The median existing home price for all housing types in September was $258,100, up 4.2% from the $247,600 price recorded in September 2017. September's price increase marks the 79th straight month of year-over-year -year gains. Total housing inventory at the end of September decreased from 1.91 million in August to 1.88 million existing homes available for sale and is up from 1.86 million a year ago. Unsold inventory is at a 4.4 month supply at the current sales pace, up from 4.3 last month and 4.2 months a year ago. Now looking ahead, discussions I'm having with Century 21 brokers and agents across the country coupled with these NAR stats seem to be pointing to a clear shift in the overall housing market as yet another Fed bump in interest rates and consecutive months of rising inventory on a year-over-year -year basis indicate that homes are taking a bit longer to sell compared to the superheated fast pace seen earlier this year. Now looking ahead there's something else that we like to talk about people are coining it disruptive technologies and this is something as you plan for 2019 keep these things in mind we are in a consumer driven movement and what I mean by that is the consumer experience is driving the way people engage in our business. And we're seeing it and feeling it in real estate as well. So consider things like this. What about advanced robotic manufacturing and warehousing? Driverless cars and trucks. This one gets a lot of attention. Could that change the way we look at real estate? 
How about access to personal and transactional data? Over 90% of the data that we have today has been put together in just the last two years, and it's continuing to expand. Smart technology we're very familiar with, global connectivity, there was $126 billion of foreign money that came into the U.S. last year investing in real estate. How about information protection through cybersecurity? We hear more about hacks and information and fraud today than ever before, and we need to make sure that that's part of our business plan to keep everyone safe, especially our clients. So understanding these trends, and more importantly, leveraging them into your 2019 business plans and goals is imperative. Research what's happening, watch trends, and make sure you're ready for them. You have to convey an understanding of how this will impact properties, communities, and more importantly for you, your home buyers and sellers. This is what defying mediocrity is all about, and that's what we do here at Century 21 Real Estate. Give 121% and deliver extraordinary experiences.